In this video, I will consider one numerical on node analysis. Find the voltages at node 1, 2, 3 and 4 for the circuit shown below using nodal analysis. This is the given circuit. Here, we have nodes 1, 2, 3 and 4. We need to find voltages at these four nodes using nodal analysis. And this is the reference voltage. Reference node, its voltage is 0. Let me simplify this. So this is the given circuit here. Let me assume voltage at node 1 is V1, voltage at node 2 is V2, voltage at node 3 is V3 and voltage at node 4 is V4. That is let V1, V2, V3 and V4 are voltages at nodes. 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. So in nodal analysis, first we have to mark all branch currents. Let me assume current through this branch is say I1. Let current through this branch is I2. Let current through this branch is I3 and let current through this branch is I4. Since we have covered all the branches, here we have voltage source, no need to give the current. Here also we have voltage source, no need to show the current direction. Here already there is a current direction, here also already there is a current. So here we can observe that at node and node 3 and node 4, there is a voltage source connected directly. It means node 3 and node 4 are super nodes. So here we have a voltage dependent voltage source. Its voltage is Vi which is voltage across 2 ohm register. Similarly here we have one more voltage dependent current source which is dependent on voltage Vx. Voltage Vx is voltage across 1 ohm register. Since 3 and 4 are super nodes, first we have to analyze super nodes. It is here node 3 and 4 are super nodes. So let me analyze the super nodes. Here positive terminal is connected to node 3, negative is connected to node 4. So we should write V3 minus V4 is equal to 0 0.5 Vy. 0 0.5 Vy. <coughs> so here we can observe that Vx that is Vx is equal to voltage across 1 ohm register that is 1 into I1 that is Vx is nothing but 1 into I1 similarly Vy is voltage across 2 ohm register that is Vy is equal to voltage across 2 ohm register in 2 ohm register current I3 is flowing so it will be 2 I3. <coughs> now let me simplify this so I can write this is V3 minus V4 is equal to 0 0.5 Vy. Vy is nothing but 2 I3 that is into 2 I3 or I can write V3 minus V4 is equal to 0 0.5 into 2 that is 1 that is nothing but I3 or I can simplify further as V3 minus V4 is equal to I3. So I3 is the current which is flowing from node 4 to node 1. So we should write voltage at node 4 is V4 minus V1 divided by V of A2. So here we can observe that voltage 8 volt is directly connected between node 1 and reference node. Therefore, we can write V1 is equal to 8 volts. So, here V1 voltage is voltage at node 1 that is V1 which is equal to 8 volts. So, let me simplify this further that is V3 minus V4 is equal to so this is V4 by 2 that is 0.5 V4 minus V1 by 2. 
v1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 v1 or I can write v3 minus v4 is equal to 0 0.5 v4 that is 0 0.5 v4 minus 0 0.5 v1 v1 value is 8 that is 0 0.5 into 8 that is I can simplify it as v3 v3 minus v4 is equal to 0 0.5 v4 minus 4 further I can simplify this as v3 minus v4 minus 0 0.5 v4 is equal to minus 4 or I can write v3 minus this is minus 1 v4 minus 0.5 that is minus 1.5 v4 is equal to minus 4. So let me call this as equation A. So we know that here node 3 and node 4 are super nodes. Also we know that the sum of that is algebraic sum of currents at super node is 0. Let me simplify that. That is we know that algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is equal to 0. So let me analyze the currents at node I3 and node I4. So now I can say at node V3, look at this circuit, at node V3, the currents are I2 is incoming current, 0 0.5 Vx is incoming. Let me take incoming current as positive, outgoing current as negative. So I can write at V3, the currents are one is I2, that is plus I2, another one is 0 0.5 Vx, that is 0 0.5 Vx. These are the two currents at node V3. Similarly, at node V4, the currents are here I3 and I4, both are outgoing, so it should be minus, that is minus I3 and minus I4. So these are the currents. Now according to this definition, that is algebraic sum of currents at super node is 0. So sum of these all currents is equal to 0. Let me do that, that is I can write I2 plus 0 0.5 Vx, 0 0.5 Vx minus I3 minus I4 is equal to 0. That is algebraic sum of currents at super node is equal to 0. So here I2, look at the circuit, we have I2 is equal to v2 minus v3 divided by 2. So I can write i2 as v2 minus v3 divided by 2 plus 0 0.5 into vx. So here vx is nothing but 1 i1 that is nothing but i1. So it is i1 minus v of i3. So i3 is nothing but here we can see v4 minus v1 divided by 2 v4 minus v1 divided by 2 minus i4. So i4 is nothing but v4 divided by 1. As this point is connected to ground, its voltage is 0. v4 minus 0 divided by 1. That is nothing but v4. So it will be v4 is equal to 0. Let me simplify this further. <coughs> or I can write it as v2 by 2 minus v3 by 2 plus 0 0.5. So here I1, I1 is nothing but V2 minus V1 divided by 1. That is V2 minus V1. I1 is V2 minus V1 minus here we have V4 by 2. This will be like this. So minus minus plus it is V1 by 2 minus V4 is equal to 0. Let me simplify this further. V2 by 2, that is nothing but 0 0.5 V2 minus 
zero point five V three plus here it is zero point five V two minus zero point five V one minus zero point five V four this will be zero point five V one this will be minus V four is equal to zero. That is, let me simplify this further. Here we have zero point five V two, zero point five V two. This is nothing but V two. And here we have minus zero point five V one plus zero point five V one. So this term and this term will get cancelled. The remaining is minus zero point five V three. And here we have zero point five V four minus V four. That is minus one point five. V four is equal to zero. So let me call it as equation B. So now, till now we have considered node V one, V three, and V four. Now the remaining node is two. We need to apply KCL to this node because this is the normal node. We need to apply KCL. That is apply KCL to node V two. So here we can see that. So in KCL, incoming current is equal to outgoing current. Here I one and I two are outgoing. Current ten is incoming. So I can write I one plus I two is equal to ten. That is I one plus I two is equal to ten. Or I can write here, I one is nothing but V two minus V one divided by one. V two minus V one divided by one plus I two. I two is nothing but V two minus V three divided by two. V two minus V three divided by two is equal to ten. Or let me simplify. Or I can write V two minus V one plus Zero point five V two minus zero point five V three is equal to ten, or I can write this is minus V. So here I this is V two plus point five V two that is one point five V two. So this is minus eight V one is equal to eight, and this is minus zero point five V three is equal to ten, or I can write. One point five V two minus zero point five V three is equal to take this eight on other side. It will become eighteen. So let me call this as equation C. So now we need to solve equation A, B, C to find the value of V two, V three, and V four. So these are the A, B, C equations. Now we need to solve these three equations to get the values of V two, V three, and V four. That is, solving equations A, B, and C. We get. So let me use calculator. So to solve these three equations directly, we can use calculator. Go to the mode. So in that, choose equation that is fifth option. And here we have three unknowns. So option two should be chosen. So now feed the values of A, B, C. In equation A, coefficient of V two is zero, so it is zero. Is equal to coefficient of V three is one. One is equal to Coefficient of V four is minus one point five. That is minus one point five equal to then D is nothing but minus four. This is minus four. Press equal. Then it will go to the second equation. So in second equation, coefficient of V two is one. Coefficient of V three is minus zero point five. Then coefficient of V four is minus one point five. Minus one point five. Is equal to zero. Then in equation third, that is C, coefficient of V two is one point five. One point five. 
coefficient of v3 is minus 0.5 minus 0.5 coefficient of v2 v4 is missing it means it is 0 0 and it is 18 next is 18 is equal to <coughs> So x is nothing but value of v2. So v2 is 14.285. Y is nothing but value of v3. So v3 is 6.857. Then finally we have v4. V4 is 7.238. Let me write the values. V2 is equal to 14.28 volts. V3 is equal to 6.857 volt and V4 is equal to 7.28 volts and already V1 is equal to 8 volts. So these are the all node voltages for the given circuit. Thank you for watching.